Hello, I'm Lorraine and this is Wireman's Whimsy. I'm bringing you the fourth uh, card made this week with using the Translucent Florals Bundle. Um, and in behind here, I've got the Meandering Meadows Designer Series paper. Uh, and the paper's cut to five and a quarter by four. And the middle piece is very vanilla in three by four. Um, I've already stamped and cut out the flower for the middle. It's the smaller of the, um, the middle of the three flowers um, and I'm also using this branch stamp set to do the decoration in behind. I'm going to do a couple things just slightly differently on this one. Um, I'm going to raise this up just a little bit so that this isn't so close to the bottom and then I'm going to make this just a little bit more full and these are the 2024-2026 uh, in color shimmer gems. And I'm using Petunia Pop. Um, I haven't used it um, much. I'm still getting used to the color. And when it stamps, it's very, very juicy, um, really juicy. And it comes back um, right true to color. So you'll see that when we're going through. I also took some of the white ribbon um, that comes in the two pack with the white and the petal pink. And I used my uh, light Petunia Pop stamp and blends to color it. Um, and then I'm just going to use that to wrap around. So, uh, again, a Petunia Pop card base, five and a quarter by four in the Meandering Meadow, and then a three by four in the um, Very Vanilla. So I'll pop that there so you can see it. I will also add the dimensions to the comments on, or to the description on the video. So I'm going to come in with my blending brush, starting off the page and just coming in and adding some color to the middle of this three by four piece of very vanilla. Just coming in. I don't need to add color everywhere, just kind of in the middle. And then I'm going to use this branch stamp. I tried a bunch of different things. You can see I've got some uh, blueberry bushel there, um, but I thought I'd keep it really monochromatic. So I'm just going to come in and I'm going to stamp. And I don't think I've come up quite as high as I was intending to. So I'm just going to come up just a little bit higher here. And then I'm going to bring some pieces into the middle. It doesn't matter if the middle is really full because I'm actually going to be covering that up with the flower. Okay, and we're going to put the you're the best on here at the bottom. Now mine is um, just angled just a little bit. So if I were to put this straight down, it would be just a little bit tipped down. So I'm just going to, and I'm going to pull this just a little bit closer to me so that I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to stamp that down. So I'm a little bit crooked, um, but that's, I can't get right over top of it to line it up. I could use a Stamparatus, um, but not going to on this one. So I'm going to just add a little bit of adhesive and I'm going to put a strip of adhesive, I don't actually need this anymore, down each side because I'm not 100% sure where this ribbon is gonna go. So I'm giving myself some room to play. So I'm going to put this kind of right here like this and then just fold it round into that adhesive on the back and then make sure I'm straight and pop that into the adhesive on the back on the other side. So you can see it's just a little bit higher than the uh, demo card and I'm just a little bit, just a smidge high there so it's a little bit, that's better. Okay, so we can just flat mount this um, and I need to do one thing before I mount that and that is rough the edges up. Um, I did it on my sample, um, one of my prototypes, but I didn't do it on this one. And I'm going to come back in and do that on this. You should technically do it before you put the ribbon on, um, but it, it'll still work now. You just take your scissors. If you've got a kind of an edger tool, you can use that. You can just come in with your scissors and just rough that edge up all the way around. And some of the tools really distress the edge. I just want to rough it up a little bit. So I'm just going to come around 
and just, sorry, I'm out of frame, and just distress that edge. And it's okay if you tear it a little bit or if it looks a bit funky. That's the design. So we're just going to come in and just scratch that edge up and then just make sure we've got that like that. So we've scratched that all up. Uh, you can dimensionalize this if you want. I'm choosing not to. I'm just going to flat mount it. And we're adding that to the middle, just like that. And then what I wanted to do, because this is very kind of stark and really makes it kind of stand out a little bit from the background, I just took my blending brush um, without any more ink on it. I just used up whatever ink was on here and just softened that edge up a little bit just by adding just that little bit of color to it, um, just so it um, doesn't, it's not quite such a stark edge. So we're just going to add this flower to the middle like that. And then we're going to take those shimmer gems and we're just going to put, I'm gonna put one down here for sure. And I'm using the larger ones, not the smaller ones. So I'm gonna pop one down there like that. And then one up here and one over here. Just kind of brings the eye around a little bit. So that is our card for today. It's the fourth card in the series of four cards using the translucent florals um, stamp set and dies. Um, so thank you so much for watching this week and I hope that you have enjoyed the videos. So let's create together again soon.